Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random collective reading for you. This reading is for the collective so you can be any sign for collective readings. Um, you know yeah any zodiac sign is always welcome here. Um, if something pulled you in from the title there's something in it for you just take what resonates and leave the rest you know don't try to force it and thank you so much everyone thank you for all your kindness all your support oh yes i also wanted to tell you about the christmas holiday giveaway guys i've sent all the decks out except for two there's two people who haven't claimed their deck yet okay um the cat tarot hasn't been claimed yet. The winner of that was Cindy Orford. Cindy, I need your I need any address that you want me to send your deck to. You won the cat tarot. And um, the garbage pail kids deck, that uh, the winner of that deck is Charles Nightlinger. Charles, I haven't heard from you either. Um, I need your um, an address. I need an address where I can send it to, okay? So, yeah, you guys, you're the winners of those awesome decks. Please get back to me so I can get you your decks, right? And, um, guys, I already have the decks for the, for the Valentine's giveaway. Oh, my gosh, they're awesome. They're so much fun. So I'll be announcing that one, too, soon. Um, all right, so, Divine, what do you have for the collective today? Messages for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? Somebody wants this. They, they, hey, somebody's coming in. They're coming in too slow, though. It's like, you know what it feels like? It's, it's almost like they get a fire lit under them, and then they slow down or come to a complete stop. But they still want to give you this offer. Yeah, this person's scared, scared, scared. Because you know what? You're coming out here as a warrior. Because you're a warrior. Because you've been through it, this person put you through a battlefield, basically, okay? Um, and, uh, yeah, you've healed yourself. This is a very healing card, and you're moving forward. This is fast forward movement. You're moving really fast. They're moving way too slow. Um, without the Two of Pentacles out here, which I can already see is under their feet, right? Um, the, it's this hemming and hawing thing from this from this person. One minute, one minute they've got a fire lit under them. The next minute they're almost at a complete stop. It's like, what are you gonna do? They're scared. They want this new beginning with you, collective. Okay, it's on the top of their melon, right? But they're guarding their heart. They're afraid they're gonna get hurt because of all that they put you through. You know, the chariot, you could be a cancer, um, don't have to be though. This energy is just, it tells me somebody who has been put through it. You, you could have had your name dragged through the mud, people talking about you behind your back, backstabbing, betrayal. You could have been sacrificed maybe, um, you know, like in a, we've gotten a lot of third party situations out here. That's the energy, okay? Either way, you know, this person, they put you through a battlefield, but now you're coming out having a victory, moving forward, um, being in this very, um, like, feminine and masculine energy, okay? Um, yeah, you, and they're scared. They're feeling intimidated. And that's why they keep holding down this two, under their feet are those two pentacles, should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? I you know, um, the one I feel like this is stands for one of these pentacles, wanting to do something, wanting to take quick action. And the other pentacle is this guy moving way too slow. Almost it, it's it's almost like their fear is paralyzing them. OK, paralyzed with fear when it comes to thinking about coming towards you after all that they put you through. Um, especially when you are so strong right now, like I said, both masculine and feminine energies. Yeah, they, they want to heal this with you. Their wish is to heal this with you. What they're wishing for is to give you an apology, okay, which may seem like a lame apology because of all that they put you through. All right, and they're, they're feeling like it's not going to be enough. They're worried that they're going to have their heart broken like they broke your heart. 
Um, yeah, what's all of this here? Yeah, this person, I feel like they were very immature in the past. Um, very immature. What They were very noncommittal. They could have been in it just for fun, not for a long time. In it for a good time, not for a long time, right? And they played around with your heart, with your love. They walked away from you. They kept you in the dark. This person could have abandoned you. Um just ghosted you, right, is the feeling that I'm getting here after coming in for a good time. This could be somebody who may be younger than you, but very immature energy, very immature. And ever since then, they've just been watching you. They've been stalking you. They've been watching your progress. They can't seem to stop thinking about you. Um, the watching you is becoming more like studying you now. The obsession is growing, okay? And it's like, that's what's making them have a fire lit. But yet at the same time, it stops them in their tracks because they're literally paralyzed with fear. <laughs> they know what they put you through. Yeah, and through all the watching you, see, they weren't committal before. They were just in it for fun before. Extremely immature, wanting to flirt, play, um, share some passion with you, okay? But now this person's in love, okay? Now they're in love. Um, yeah, and I feel like they're realizing that. I kind of get the, I'm hearing somebody sniffling, like, <laughs> right? Like, they're feeling really bad. They're all up in their emotions here. I, I you know, yeah, man. They put you through too much, Collective. I feel like they put you through too much. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they realize that um, when, when they met you, when they got with you, Collective, you were actually a big blessing and love for this person. And they pretty much spit on it and tossed it to the curb. I feel like this person really dogged you out, I got to say. And now they want you back. Yep, now they see the truth about you. Oh my gosh, that you're their wish fulfillment. You're their wish fulfillment. And like I said, this person lied to you, had in and out energy, took advantage of you, treated you like crap, treated you like nothing, maybe even laughed about whatever they did behind your back, thought they would get away with everything that they did thought it wouldn't have any consequences for them, and they end up being in love, and now they know. I mean, this is, um, this is like absolute clarity that you were always the wish fulfillment here. You know, the Ten of Cups, we call it wish fulfillment, and then we lay it back down on the table, but, but let's talk about that. They could have had, this is them fantasizing of what it could be, have been like with you. You know, this is ultimate emotional fulfillment, okay? You're somewhere over the rainbow. This is like waking up every day and knowing that, um, that you're loved, knowing that you have a partner that's not going to leave you, that's not going to betray you, the, the kids are happy, you've got a beautiful home, everything is good in your life, right? Everything is right as rain. That's waking up like that every day, feeling comfortable and loved and, uh, and um, held precious, you know. And then we've got the Ten of Pentacles. This isn't just a commitment. This is generational wealth. This is like um, knowing that you can go to a store if you need something and not have to worry about, you know, money, not have to worry if you have enough. Um, you've got more than enough. This is being able to have enough to travel, buy properties. Um, this is like all, this is this is the kind of life that everybody dreams of having. It's a worry-free life. Every day is worry-free, really. Um, and this person, they realized they could have had it all with you, but they scammed their way right out of it. And I, they're just, they're sitting here realizing this as they're um, back and forth about whether or not they're going to come forward. They don't want to get hurt the way that they hurt you. 
and um, and they know that you have the power to do that because they're in love with you. I feel like it, when they did it to begin with, they didn't really care. They may not have been in love, but this person through watching you, because you could be in the public eye here with the star, they're watching you, you're on a glow up, you're beautiful, you're peaceful, you're helpful for others, okay? Um, you're an intuitive, an empath, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, a guide for other people. They're, they're watching you kind of in amazement, I feel. You've got this beautiful energy that cannot be replaced. And I feel like through all of them watching you and studying you and learning about you, um, they're in love with you now. They weren't serious before, but this person's in love with you now. And fully realizing all that they lost when they betrayed you. I feel like they hurt you. They watched you walk away crying and they did absolutely nothing. I feel like there's been a lot of talk about you. Um, some that they took part in here. They sabotaged this connection and they pretty much did all that they can to damage it, right? In a lot of different ways. And now you're moving forward. You've, you've shown strength tenacity, um, uh, determination. You've healed yourself. You're out here having a victory, living a peaceful life in the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles energy. And this person, man, they're crying over spilt milk, but it's their fault. It's their fault. Because when they had a chance at a star, they freaking blew it because they weren't serious and they didn't think there would be any consequences. They just wanted to play. Yeah, you're out here as the empress. And this person's praying for a second chance. I'm telling you. They're praying. This could have been a third party. I feel like this person completely shattered your heart. Uh, but you're on a glow up here. Uh, you've become extremely successful. Uh, living maybe in the lap of luxury here. Living very comfortably independent, possibly a boss, business owner, possibly doing, you know, strutting your stuff or showing your abilities, you know, online. Um, on a glow up, beautiful energy there. Very intuitive, very spiritually led. Um, yeah, man. They, um, they sabotaged their chances with an empress who could have given them a life of luxury, comfort, and wish fulfillment. And now they're praying to have you back. They didn't recognize you as a blessing from God. They freaking do now. And here's the thing, though. You don't want to have anything to do with anybody who doesn't know your value. You don't want to have anybody anything to do with anybody who's going to come in as a page of wands energy, just wanting to play around, not being serious. You're an empress and a star. You could very well be a divine feminine light worker here, okay? Having a victory because you got your act together. You, you got it all together. You're the shiznit. Yeah, I, I feel like you've made your decision on this person. Anybody who showed you this kind of energy in the past here with the five of swords and the page of wands, they're not allowed back in. And I feel like you're moving forward. You're done. You know your value. They didn't. They're praying. They're about to communicate with you here. I feel like they want to anyway. You know, but they're doing that stopping and starting. You're keeping all of your moves hidden. Like this person is no longer a part of your life. They're just no longer a part of your life. Everything has changed. And I feel like the door may be closed on this person for good. All right, give me just a couple more for the collective. Yeah, I, um, they're just, they're hemming and hawing too much, you know, and I feel like you're just done. You, don't, you know, you're an empress. If this person can't decide if they want you or not, if they're not going to come forward and, and give you any communication, with, an empress is not going to sit and wait for anybody. You got to be kidding me, right? Yeah, you're moving on, man. You're moving on because you know what? You want somebody who's going to work on things with you. 
You want somebody who's going to choose you and work with you, a plan, a plan for your future, something beautiful, something that you guys can work towards together. That's what you want, somebody to build with, somebody who's not going to leave you and not be and writing. You want somebody who's not going to be entertaining other options either. You know, um, you want them to just ride past all everybody else and just choose you. And you know what? That's fair. That's what people want. They just, they want their person, you know? They want somebody who's going to not leave them and backstab them and betray them and drag them through the mud and put them in a battle. You know what I mean? Love shouldn't be a battlefield. It should look like this and this. And that's what you're going for. Somebody who's got their act together. Somebody who has learned their lessons. Somebody who's been through their own battle and coming out having a victory. Just like you. You want somebody who's going to match that energy. And this person, the, a new person, uh, this is, yeah, this is what you're going for. So you're leaving this behind. You're, and you're closing the cycle with the Wheel of Fortune, the World card, and you're doing it brilliantly because you did your work. You bossed up into the Empress. So, yeah, you're leaving this person behind. If they're, you know what? Nobody wants somebody who's not going to be serious about them. Nobody wants to be with somebody who's going to watch them cry and walk away. You know, nobody wants that. The heck are these people thinking? It's so frustrating, too. You know, this very frustrating energy. So, you know, this person, they didn't show you anything before. They want to now, collective. They want to now because they know they want to be with you. They dream about being with you. But you know what? If they're not, if they don't want to make it right what they did to you, you're not waiting for this person. You're living your life and you're going to get the love you deserve. And I feel like if, the, if anybody gave you an offer, if this person finds out that you're talking to anybody new, they're going to be so irate. This to me is like an angry card, okay? Knight of Swords coming in fast, angry, kicking up a lot of chaos. They're going to be angry. They don't want you talking to anybody new. Well, that's just too bad. That's just too bad. You're looking for a king of pentacles here. Somebody who's going to want to commit. Somebody who's going to want to build with you and know what it is that they want. Someone who's going to be your rock. Someone who's going to be solid for you. That's what you want is a king of pentacles. You know, so they need to boss up. Or they need to let you go. But yeah, if they find out you're talking to anybody new, yeah, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight. This person will come in fighting with this new person. You know what? You know what? But yet they're over here wasting all their time, right? Yeah, and I feel like you're going to get, you're not going to allow that to happen. Queen of Swords in reverse, you're going to be ticked off. You're going I feel like you're going to protect your new person because yeah, you you know what? You're more than worthy of a commitment. You are your wifey husband material, right? Take it how it resonates. And you're more than worthy of a commitment and this person, you're going to tell them, "You don't have a right to do this. You better back off." Back off right now. Yep, Earth Angel energy. You're going to get a commitment here. It's coming in fast. You've been manifesting somebody new, and they're coming in. And I feel like a, this new person, and use your discernment, right? But this new person that's going to make you this offer and choose you, that's going to be your new soulmate connection. It's going to it's gonna take you to a whole new beginning. It's going to lead to a marriage. This is building something solid, like I was talking about. Somebody you can build with. This is what they want. Okay, so you're mixing up a new soulmate now, and it's coming to you fast. And I'm telling you, I feel like you're going to do all you can to protect. Now, this can stand for wanting revenge. This can stand for a lot of things, the Queen of Swords in reverse. But what I'm seeing is 
if something, if this person from your past comes in and starts an argument or something with somebody new, man, you will not have that. You're going to be like, get out now. Yeah, you're not, you're going to be protecting any new beginning because you know it's your new beginning. And you deserve love by somebody who's just going to choose you. And this person, you know what, they can't waste all of their time here not knowing what they want and get angry about you moving on with somebody else. That is not going to fly with you, not with my collective. Yeah, you're going to stop that argument right away and protect this new beginning. So anyway, collective, that's what I got for this reading. Um, prepare for a fight, an argument. When you get this new love here, you're, you're going to meet them very soon. This energy is coming in fast. All right, way faster than your past person. Okay, They're, they don't actually get on the horse and speed up until they find out you're talking to somebody new. Think about that. Anyway, Collective, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.